Hi guys, I'm Cleo Carney and today we're making my famous energy bars. These are fabulous and they're famous because my sister begs me to make them to a point where it's a little bit annoying, uh, but this is a really convenient way to always have energy bars in stock. They take five minutes to make and they're full of healthy fats, protein, and fiber to keep you full and nourished. They will quickly become a staple in your house, I can assure you. Our first step is to put the pecans in the food processor. We're gonna put all of our nuts in first and blend them beforehand so you don't have large chunks of nuts. This is a cup of pecans. You can use any nut of choice really, but I love pecans, especially uh, in the winter time as this can be more of a festive treat. And we're doing as well a cup of cashews or 100 grams of cashews. Add that to the food processor. And then we're gonna do 25 grams or about two tablespoons of whole almonds with their skin on. You can add any other nut really. This recipe is very easy and interchangeable, but this uh, ratio of ingredients makes the perfect Cleo patented taste. So now that you've added all your nuts to the food processor, you're gonna put the lid on and just blend them briefly. Warn your family members about the noise it will make. So once your nuts are blended relatively finely, they can have still a few chunks, as you can see. Next, we're gonna add our cranberries. And this is 60 grams of cranberries, or around a third a cup, loosely packed. And these are dried cranberries. They can be sweetened or unsweetened. And then we're adding a third cup, or 60 grams, of dried cherries. Add that in and our raisins, I'd say three tablespoons of raisins. The measurements don't have to be too, too exact. And then our final thing is 250 grams or two cups of dates. You wanna make sure they're pitted or you can pit them yourself. And now the sound won't be that lovely, but the reward is worth it. So once your energy bars are processed nicely into a sort of fine paste, you will want to add your vanilla extract. So half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and you're just gonna pulse that in. Perfect. So this is the ideal consistency, and you'll want it to clump together when you pinch it. And then once you're ready, you're gonna Take a spatula and put it into a little tray. You can also use a loaf tin. You can see this batter has really nice little chunks of nuts. And this will make about 24 bars, I would say. So it makes quite a lot, which is great for prep for the week. You can freeze these. Uh, you can leave them in the fridge. They're actually quite good cold, I think and is very delicious as a little dessert. So as you can see, I have a bit of an extra mixture here that I might decide to put into energy balls if I want something small and sweet. But now I've got everything in my lined tin and I have a bit of extra parchment paper here which I can just press on top and use my spatula or even my fingers to press down to ensure Everything is really nice and compact. So once you've pressed your bars into your little molds, which can just be any tray you have, you're gonna take them out and you use a sharp knife, be very careful, and cut them into bars. So they're gonna be a bit sticky. As you can see, some may stick to the knife, which is just Clearly a sign that you should taste a little bit. I like to individually wrap mine in a bit of parchment paper so that I can take them on the go. You can see it's a very sticky situation. However, it is also a very delicious situation. Okay, so now that you've cut up your beautiful little bars, it's time for the best part to taste them. <laughs> mm. 
that's delicious. You get the cranberry, the buttery richness of the pecans, and the almost cookie dough flavor of the cashews. I love these. They are delicious. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Cleo Carney, and I can't wait to see you guys next time for a new kitchen adventure.